So we ask what the state of play is right now, okay, and whether it's a sign mm -hmm. that the rally itself is weakening. I'll point it out, okay? Breath, it's narrowed significantly. You've got money flowing into big tech, as we know, and the Russell 2000 equal weight has been lagging. You've got Bitcoin down. You've got SPAC index has come down uh, substantially. The ARK stocks have been correcting uh, substantially as well. The innovation fund is down 6% year to date. Uh, do we have a weakening rally? Um, I think we've got a pause right now, Scott. Uh, I don't think we've got a weakening rally. I think the pause is just that uh, the real tech drivers are coming in a couple weeks. They're not here this week. We knew that bank earnings would be somewhat challenged by the interest rate picture that we've got right now. That's not a surprise to anybody. Um, and they did not make significant corrections or anything. They had been somewhat, you know, meandering into the earnings themselves. And I, I think, Scott, it's really more about the consumer and how this spending is working. I mean, looking at, uh, I think yesterday we talked about how many records Target has set day after day after day. Obviously, demand being the driver there. Do they have enough supply? At least at Target and Walmart, they appear to. Uh, I think Home Depot is going to be in that category, too. Uh, but I think the, the issue here is that Reopening, yeah, there's been a lot of that. And we know that, according to uh, Moynihan over at Bank America, only about 30 percent of the money uh, that people got in those direct deposited checks into Bank America has been spent. So that tells me, Scott, that we are indeed looking at not transitory, but years worth of demand out there uh, that people have the ability to spend. And, you know, spend they have. Restaurants, 40 percent this June over last June. And yet we know last June was locked down. But how about this number? Sales overall, sales, retail sales, 18 percent, Scott. Mm -hmm. um, that's better than it was in the pre-pandemic time. So obviously all this money sloshing around to Jeff's point yesterday, Gunlock, was that it's looking for a home. Um, in many cases, consumers have found that to be uh, at stores. Um, not so much at furniture because they can't get it. Not so much at appliances because they can't get them. Um, but automobiles, uh, as well as, you know, going back into malls, which were empty during much of the pandemic. 